why do the Iranian mullahs hate pets so much? I love this thumbnail of the angry, stressed out <laughs> Khamenei. So I wanted, yeah, we have to unpack why why do the Iranian mullahs hate dogs so much? Because this comes to the attention of a lot of people recently. The Parliament of Iran is on the verge of passing the, quote, Protection of Public Rights Against Animals bill, which outlaws pet ownership without a permit issued by a special committee. This includes the criminalization of owning pets such as dogs, cats, and even crocodiles. Those found in opposition to this law would be subjected to a fine of around $800 USD and be detained. Many conservative Iranian authorities have previously tried to ban dogs altogether. The president of the Iran Veterinary Association, Dr. Payam Mohebi, stated, Debates around this bill started more than a decade ago when a group of Iranian MPs tried to promote a law to confiscate all dogs and give them to zoos or leave them in deserts. Okay, I want to reiterate this. Zoo? They were de they were debating whether to confiscate all the dogs and to give them to zoos or just leave them in the desert. Okay. Over the years, they have changed this a couple of times and even discussed corporal punishment for dog owners, but their plan didn't get anywhere. The local police in Tehran recently started a crackdown on citizens who are walking their dogs in public parks as a me measure to, quote, protect the safety of the public. Tehran authorities justified their decision to protect and uphold public safety, but the reason is very conservative and ideological. In Islam, dogs are considered to be impure animals, and since the Islamic Revolution of 1979, dogs have been seen as a symbol of westernization. I wish I had my dog here for this news item. I'm going to go get get her soon, okay? Um, the dog seems very disappointed. Qasem is rightfully <laughs> pointing out maybe they have lost that voter base in dogs. Like Qasem is saying. <laughs> <laughs> you, they've lost their constituents. <laughs> <laughs> um, this was very tough because they started doing this right when the pandemic hit, okay? Like this, um, I mean, dogs were always haram and in, in Islam and frowned upon. I don't know if they were actually illegal on the book, but either they were illegal on the book and don't, weren't enforcing it, or they have recently made it illegal because they're mm. going after people's pets. And the problem is that I don't know why they decided to start doing this during the pandemic, because that's exactly when people needed it the most. I think maybe that's why, because it has been, I'm guessing, because I heard, like, I don't know how accurate this is, there has there had been an upsurge in people wanting pets because they were depressed and oh across dogs, the world yeah 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 okay and dogs more and more people in iran were like i need a puppy i need a puppy. this is too depressing i need a puppy guys and puppies work like i don't know what it is about puppies but they really work like when it comes like it's like i don't i don't know i, I don't I, okay i'm not an expert so I shouldn't be giving advice on uh, mental health issues, okay? But um, this might personally, I think, is like the most cost-effective way of stress relief, okay? Ever they since really... Armin got a puppy, he's a changed man. Yes. He's a different oh person. God. Yeah, they just, yeah, they, 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 they work. I don't know what it is about. I, it, it seems like it seems like they were um, made for us and we were made for them. You know what I mean? It kind of looks like we're 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 supposed to be a match or something. Like you you don't notice how much you need them until you have them. Okay, um, well we have we have literally domesticated dogs to the extent that they have areas in their brain specifically designed to understand human facial expressions. Human I mean, emotion okay, expressions. I, that's how tight it is. But there's also evidence that they have domesticated us as well. That's what I was saying. I knew for a very long time that we have domesticated them and they need us emotionally. I just recently realized that it also works the other way around, that they also have dom uh, domesticated us and we apparently we need them, okay? Apparently we only, so yeah, so um, yeah, get a dog maybe if you can. But this is like such a um, disservice to Iranian people that you're oh my God, denying yeah. them. You're denying them this, this service of, you know. Um,
or what dogs can offer. I'm going to go get my Nala. Yeah, no, okay, well, you, just... you go get your dogs. I'm going to show this photo series that I found. Um, so let me add this. Cool. So uh, Iran Wire, who is it's a website for um, journalism about Iran that I love and highly suggest to everyone. Anyways, recently they published a little photo series about Iranians and their dogs. And I thought this was so cute. They have like a gallery just showing normal Iranians in their homes and them with their dogs. Like, it's just very sweet. Um, I thought it was cool to, yeah, just show what that's like for normal people and this like loving relationship they have. Oh my God, that puppy is so cute. Holy crap. No, I need to go back and look at that more. Oh my God. He's so small. I wish I could blow these images up bigger, but it won't let me for some reason. Um, oh my gosh. Is that like a little spaniel? What kind of spaniel is that? So cute. Yeah. Oh, I love all these so much. Wait, my, like it doesn't have to be mine this is... bad, unhealthy, unsafe thing. It's like, it's very normal and it's a part of a person's life. And I also thought it was cool just to see like, yeah, how people express themselves in their homes. They put alligators <laughs> next to dogs just so that they could say that they're all unsafe in the law. Yeah, but, but anyway. let's, speaking of Iranians and their dogs. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at that <laughs> little belly. She has like white gloves. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> oh, those eyes will just kill you. Yay. She's so little. Oh, just some kisses. <laughs> I like I like how her belly is like naked because she likes belly rubs. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, she's giving some kisses. Yeah, Doorknob Pet is saying, and now we're all distracted. Honestly, if you're listening to the podcast and you're not watching this on YouTube, you're missing out. <laughs> some quality, quality puppy viewing. Um and also, guys, if you like to see puppies like this on the show, you should definitely like this video. Subscribe to this channel. You get to see more <laughs> Armin's cute dogs. Um, so <laughs> I wanted to read a couple of comments. Um, Higgs Boson is saying, Iranian people are angry enough. Taking some of their happiness will make more people revolt. I feel like people have like really started to lose, like, you told me that people were getting very defensive and extreme about their animals in Iran. Yeah, yeah. I actually, um, yeah, I wanted to also show uh, Islamic hadith. Well, maybe I shouldn't today. But there's Islamic hadith showing that uh, Muhammad hated dogs. Muhammad really, they, he wanted to kill them. He, there's Islamic hadith that Muhammad uh, demanded people kill all the dogs. And then... Apparently they killed this dog of an old lady and she was unhappy about it. And the old lady that was just like new there or something, I don't know. And Muhammad like, okay, fine. Don't kill all the dogs. But if you're keeping them for guard and stuff, maybe you can keep them. But he said, but the black ones, kill the black ones, okay? So that's why um, some ex-Muslims on purpose, when they go buy dogs, they go buy black dogs because muhammad hated them the most but guys i'm not making this stuff up like i don't know should i bring up the hadith because some people think i'm making this stuff up like that sounds too evil like this is something <laughs> no it's so easy to find okay well you talk while i find it muhammad hadith. yeah um uh okay so doorknob head is saying do pets growl at mullahs like the guard dogs do uh to Yahtzees. I can't say the real word because of YouTube in the Kelly's Heroes TV show. Kelly's Heroes TV show. You know, I <laughs> I don't know. Um, Gossam is saying, oh, this is really bad. Have you heard about this, Armin? He's saying a few days ago they have killed more than a thousand dogs in Damavan in Iran. Oh, no. Gun. Really? I haven't heard of that. Holy crap. 
And Doorknob Head is also saying, dogs give unconditional love, unlike Islam. Oh, here, I have found the hadith. By the way, um, I think this is the most effective way to fight Islam because most people around the world love dogs and Islam hates dogs. So effectively, I mean, most Muslims don't know most of them think like, oh, no, we don't, Islam doesn't hate dogs. We just like, this is Najis and they're lovable creatures, but unfortunately they're Najis, so you shouldn't keep them as pets. You could keep them as guard animals, but not as pets. But they're not aware of their own hadith that says like, no, this is not just like, oh, we're not just like, this is not just an unfortunate thing that they, yeah, they're kind of sweet and all, but this is what we have to do because it's a religious ruling. No, Muhammad hated them. Here. Uh, oh, yeah. So this is hadith. This is Sahih. Um, where is it? Sahih Dharma, okay. Dharma Salam. Oh yeah, there we go. Good job. Um, okay, so it says, I asked the messenger of Allah about all black dogs. Oh, about the all black dogs. And he said, it's a devil. <laughs> okay, this is a short version. Okay, so he's, this is a, he specifically said, <laughs> because... This person apparently knew Muhammad hates black dogs. So he went and asked him, I'm like, what is it about black dogs that you don't like? And he just literally just said, it's a devil. Okay. The black dog is a devil. Okay. So I love the, the, his reputation of dog hating precedes him. <laughs> yeah. Like people are like, I guess, came out. <laughs> so for hey people man, who don't why, know, why do you hate black dogs? <laughs> Okay, so for people who don't know, like there are multiple devils, like there are many devils, and there's one of the devils is Satan or Lucifer or Iblis, right? So we have a big category of jinns, and then within that category, we have the category of devils or shayateen, right? And then with that, within that, within that category, there's one person which is Lucifer. Okay, so um, let me show you the other hadith that he tells you what to do with the dogs, I think. Is this one? This is also, this is Sahih Muslim, right? So it says, Allah's messenger. Allah's messenger means Muhammad, right? Ordered us to kill dogs. And we carried out this order so much so that we also killed the dog uh, coming with a woman from the desert, right? So apparently there were two thorough with their following of the command like we we're like you, you told us to kill all the dogs they were like okay you're killing too many dogs now okay and then so Allah's apostle which is meaning muhammad again forbade their killings they're like okay you went too far well like i don't understand like why is he like why was he surprised people are like what do you want you told us to kill dogs like what <laughs> like <laughs> that's what you said that was your command so apparently they made an oopsie. Apparently that woman's, that lady's dogs, they shouldn't have killed, and they did. So Muhammad after that said, he, the prophet father said, it is your duty, uh, what? It is your duty, the jet black dog having two spots on the eye, for it is the devil. Okay, so now he's like, don't kill all the dogs, but kill any dog that is black, but has two spots on the eye, that one is the devil. So we have contradictory hadith because one hadith says the black dogs are the devil. And this one says that black dogs, a specific kind of black dog is the devil. Anyway, somebody's the devil. Um, yeah, I don't know what was Muhammad. Muhammad had a lot of uh, views about different animals. So for example, when, what is it? What, the donkey, when it makes a noise, what is that called? In Persian, we call it ar ar. When the donkey making noises, what is that called? like what is that yeah is we that, call it a hee-haw it... hee-haw okay so when a donkey does that apparently the devil is around a devil is around okay and when a rooster uh what does a rooster do is that is that a name when a rooster does the thing it he... does in the morning what what do you call that he crows no no not the crow what i don't i know what you're talking about okay when what a rooster does what it does that's that means an angel is just passed by or something these are hadiths these are islamic hadiths okay? yeah yeah also while, while you sleep uh, the devil pisses in your ear did you know that <laughs> i can't <laughs> i should do we should do a hadith episode where we go through ridiculous hadiths and, oh my gosh we have so many I we would never run episode. out of content yeah yeah oh he crows 
I, Isn't that what I said? You did, but I didn't. I thought that was for crows. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.